Yeah, this looks really bad here in this corner. Really, really bad. Here's another shop. There's the uh, for Lee sign. Look how bad this looks. Everything is tagged, vandalized, dirty. Here was one of the entrances. Really run down. Man, it stinks in here. Look at the ground. Look at the flies. I don't know if you can tell. Man, they even tag the ground. All of these businesses are so close. I guess you can tell this is a dumpster. Now we're on 14th and Main. And at least they're putting the trash all in the same place. There's people looking around. There's people looking around to see if they can find anything. Yeah, it's getting a little out of hand on, over here on this abandoned lot. Let's keep going. More closed places. Coming soon. I don't think so. King of t-shirts, I was the king of nothing. I think this was a, a retail pharmacy on this corner here. Now it's empty, completely empty for leaves. We're in downtown LA walking on Main Street. Of course, we couldn't leave out Main Street from our street audits here in LA. We're gonna start at third and Main and walk our way to at least 12 in Maine. Let's get ready for a shocking video. This here used to be the Barclay Hotel. Close now. This is just a business that was next to the hotel. Here's another business that was next to the hotel, closed. Here's the actual entrance to the hotel. Looks like they're cleaning it. Some of them are wearing hazmat suits. This is another business next to the hotel, also closed. There's the uh, For Lee sign up there. For Lee's. That was the old hotel sign. Gone now. And across the street, same thing, retail. For leaves. The one next to it as well, same thing. For leaves. Flagship retail, that's what it says. The entrance here has been boarded up and painted over. It says Farmers and Merchants Bank. Go now. All this here is on 4th and Main Street. Now we're on the 400 block of Main Street, same block. This corner here and all the other shops, gone. Restaurant space for leaves. The, right, the one right next door, same thing. This used to be a Vietnamese restaurant. Look how run down this is. Next place, close. Next place, also close. Next place, gone. And it goes on and on. Here's another one. And another one. There's the for Lee sign. And another one. Man, this is bad. I'm sure this is probably part of that. 30 years restaurants. 
one night. This is also another place that has closed. I think this was another restaurant. Not sure. Across the street, that all looks closed over there. So it's the next corner. That looks closed. This corner looks really bad. I don't know if it's safe to venture that way. Look how bad this looks. Now this one, this doesn't have any signage as far as leasing. Across the street looks really bad. Look how bad this looks. Everything is tagged, vandalized, dirty. Here was one of the entrances. Really run down. Yeah, this looks really bad here in this corner. Really, really bad. Here's another shop. There's the uh, for Lee sign. I don't know what this is. This sidewalk has been fenced off to avoid camping on the sidewalk. But you can see there it says available. All these shops, every door is a, a different shop that used to be there. That one there says available. Uh, he looks in a hurry. Available. Available. Let's get across the street. I see more shops over there that are vacant. Yeah, that's, these here are vacant shops. They don't have any signs, but they're sure are empty in there. Here's another one. And here's another one, three in a row. I hear more sirens. Same block after those three bacon stores in the corner here, this is available. This used to be Earth Mart. There's the uh, retail leasing sign up there. Vacant now. The shelves are still in there. Maybe these are recently closed. There are uh, refrigerators in the back. There's more shops here. Let's check out this other shop. This is the same place. There's a place, it's the For Lee sign. This corner, it's all boarded up. This was another restaurant. Very next corner. Go now. This was the outdoor seating area. That's the restaurant signage up there. Glass is covered with paper. Large restaurant here. Gone. This is another retail place. That was the main entrance here. There are the signs up there for lease. All these shops next door, same thing. Closed. 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 <laughs> I don't know what this is. Maybe a hotel. And everything here looks in rough shape. Now we're on 7th. 
and main. This corner here, very large place. Restaurant or retail for lease. This whole corner here. And the ones next to it. Across the street, we have a Chinese restaurant that looks open, but not next door. That's close. Let's see a for Lee sign. I don't know if here next door is the same thing or a different thing. Yeah, maybe that Chinese place is not open, it doesn't look open. So this corner here wraps around. The next business is also closed. There are boards over the window. I'm sure this has been closed for a while. Here's another shop. Here are more shops. These are actually three in a row. There's the, uh, there's the sign up there for lease. One right here, nothing in there. Large space, empty. Here's another one. Another big one. And the last one. Yeah, these are all large spaces. We're still on seven here, but this is on Los Angeles Street. Here are multiple stores that are closed. See all the windows are boarded up. On this building here, boards, boards, boards. This is all boarded up as well. And here are all these shops back to back, all boarded up. They don't even have lease signs. They're just abandoned now. One after the other. I'm just tired of counting. Way too many, I lost count. Another one. All this business is gone. That's impressive. Another one. We got shop after shop for lease. Look at this place, so, so clean in there. Here's another one. This one doesn't have any signage, but it sure is empty. Another one that's a really large space. Another one right here. It continues on this side as well. I can see another sign. Restaurant retail for leaves. Go now. So must have been two units. This is the other one. There's the entrance. All boarded up and fence up. But that's it's really nice the entrance in there. Here we have more shops. This one, there's a sign up there, and this other one. These are tiny ones. And then this is just a parking lot. And right across the street, everything's closed as well. Right across the street, but I guess we're gonna finish this block first. Man, they even tag the ground. Yeah, across the street, see all that? It says retail space for lease. That's two units across the street, large ones. And on this side, next to the parking lot, we have more things that are closed and boarded up. Man, it stinks in here, look at the ground. Look at the flies. I don't know if you can tell the flies around here. It's like, man, that's got to be a hundred flies. There's a, there's a letter there, but I don't want to step in there. It looks really sticky. Now we're on 8th Street. That across the street, a corner that looks available. This corner here for Lee. Man, 
look at these windows can't see through anymore everything's covered this right here this used to be a hotel Audemars Hotel gone now This here was a Mexican restaurant that recently closed. This was the outdoor seating area. Closed. There's the lease sign up there. It's for sale or for lease. That was the name. Polanquito. The menu is still up. Everything here is boarded up. There are more businesses here. There's the sign. Everything boarded up as well. On this block here, nothing's open except for that tiny restaurant there. Across the street, that in the corner is closed. And on this block, there's a nice park here, but everything on this shopping center here is closed. This here is a place that says a space for creation and innovation, but right now it's a space for nothing, because nothing's going on here. Every shop here is closed. Every shop, and boarded up. They don't want it to get vandalized, so they'd rather just board everything up. At least it's clean. Yeah, this is clean. You can tell they haven't had to like paint over it restaurant and retail opportunity all of these shops every single shop is closed on this block here's another one and another one not looking good in downtown LA now we're on Olympic and Main this was uh, another retail shop that's closed now All vandalized. On this side, this is all boarded up. All of these were businesses. This was the storefront. That was the main entrance, boarded up. Another one, main entrance, boarded up. We have another one here. All blacked out. They painted over the tagging. Main entrance, sealed shut, closed. These were all shops too, all of it. Here was another shop, closed. And if we keep going down, from here on it's Ski Row, and it's just a camping site. We're still on Main, past Olympic, all of these were shops. Boarded up. Closed. That one says massive, massive closing. Closed. It says the Hoxton, wherever this was before, it closed. More. Here's another one. These were all individual shops. Here's another one. Gone. Way gone. And another one. I think everything. I think everything past here, everything is closed. Across the street is not looking good. People used to like national parks for camping, but now they like the city more. All these shops are closed. Closed, closed, closed. Across the street, you can see that corner one. It's for lease. That's open over there in that corner. This is open too. 
So on this corner, we have two places. Here's a hat store, but across the street, not the same lock. See all the shops are closed. There's the uh, for lease sign up there. I think this was a, a retail pharmacy on this corner here. Now it's empty. Completely empty for lease. For lease. Main entrance here. Yeah, this corner right here. All for lease. For lease. Let's get across the street to check out this corner one. This was Blanks. Dress America, the finest. For lease. There's the uh, for lease sign. This one's separate. This one, this one's another shop that's closed. More and more closed shops. Closed, closed, closed. Oh, maybe we have one open here. No, it's not open. It's closed, no signage. Now check out this parking lot. Nobody uses this anymore. This looks open, whatever it is, but not the next ones. This here, Rio Wireless, says that they're open nine to five, but it doesn't look open, who knows? The next shop, this one's closed. Now, this one's open for sure. It's a, I don't know, some kind of market, some kind of grocery store. But next one's closed. So it's the next one. There's the uh, for lease sign up there. This one, they're building something in there. They're having, they're doing construction in there. Maybe they're getting ready to open, but not the next one. This one here is for lease. Next one down, same thing. And I think we might have something that's open here. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's open. This is not open. This is open. So that's open. That's closed for sure. That's closed. That's closed. That's closed. And then there, we got one that's open on this block. So on this block, there's only one smoke shop that's open. Over here, we have another one that's closed. There in the middle, there's something open there. This is all closed. Wherever this was, no signage. Across the street, we have one that's for lease. Then the next one's open, then the next, next one is closed. Now, we are on Pico and Main, and we have some stores that are open there. Partially, because there's a sign there, storefronts available. So I can see six of them that are closed and four that are open. This store in this corner, this is all closed right here. This is the big store, big closed store. Main Street was in really rough shape. It was hard to witness how Main Street is doing here in downtown LA. Let me know what you think in the comments. Always check the description for additional information and I'll see you on the next video.